Uh, at that time, I was a salesman for the facility. They discovered that like any factory, uh, a television studio is a factory. And if the factory runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and takes in money from competitors, that's okay, because it lowers the cost of the shows you do. It's like a flour mill. The more bags of wheat you push through the flour mill, the cheaper each bag gets. Uh, in 1965, no, 1964, I went to the Broadcasters Convention in Chicago, then went to Oregon and met a correspondent named Terry Drinkwater, and we surveyed for the Oregon primary. And at that time, there was no vote profile analysis or vote collection organization. So Terry and uh, the young woman whom he eventually married and two or three of us set up uh, 12,000 centers for reporting votes in the state of Oregon. And we rented the top floor of the Standard Plaza Insurance, Standard Life Insurance Company Plaza in Portland. The elevator didn't go to the top floor. We had to put in a, a temporary elevator to get the IBM machines up there. We put in something like 265 call directors, a new kind of telephone at that time, hired the people to answer them, went around to the precincts, and you'd go to uh, a Rotary Club and say, we'll pay you $10 a head if you'll get us 100 people to go to these 100 precincts and call in the votes. And that's how we did it. We had civic organizations. In some cases, you gave them packages of dimes if there was a pay phone. If there was no phone nearby, there was no such thing as a cell phone. You'd put in a telephone. And that night, we collected the votes. And Walter Cronkite did the evening news out of Portland. And we built this massive organization to report the Oregon primary. We did the same thing here the next month at the Biltmore Bowl to do the California primary. That's the night that we announced, everybody thought prematurely that Barry Goldwater had won, and the rest of the world said that Nelson Rockefeller had won. And a newsman and I, a newsman named Sam Zellman and I went through trash cans all night trying to figure out how we had come out with this information. Lou Harris was the organization that we hired to do this. And we concluded that we had results from Orange County, and that's what flipped it to Goldwater. And Fred Friendly was the president of CBS News at that time. He was here, and when Lou Harris went up and handed the note to Walter Cronkite, Cronkite said, and the Lou Harris poll says that Barry Goldwater, Barry Goldwater has won the Orange <laughs> has won the California primary, and everybody's nodding, yes. Now, Friendly went back to New York thinking he's gotta be funny, because uh, the plane, you know, it's a piston engine plane, and he gets near Cleveland and he asks the stewardess, can you hear any news on the radio? She came back and said, yes, the Cleveland stations are saying that CBS laid an egg because they declared Barry Goldwater's really Nelson Rockefeller. He gets back to New York, lands, gets in a cab, goes in, knowing he's gonna get fired, and listens to the cab radio. That's when it flip-flopped, so he went back as a hero. The rest of the world was wrong and he was right. And it's a, an apocryphal story, I know, but that's, now that we have electronic news gathering, that's how it happens. One of the other things, to go back to GT4, the space shot, Gemini Titan IV in Houston, we could sit in the uh, control room for the pool in Houston and push a button and say, go Bernie, and Bernie starts talking. Bernie is in the Pacific on the Rose Knot Victor, a ship, and he's got a satellite dish on board. And that's when we saw uh, the first, about that time we saw the first spacecraft splash in the Pacific. Mm. And one of our men who's still working here, Al Ladder, was the cameraman in a helicopter that microwaved the picture back to the carrier and satellited in here. And since that time, we're in a whole new ball game of instant news reporting from other parts of the world with you know the cable news networks, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, CNBC, all the others, plus the, uh, the regular networks.